If you're looking to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.19, you have just clicked the perfect video because in this one, I'm going to be showing you real quick how to install Sodium and Fabric, which is required for Minecraft 1.19. To get started installing Sodium for Minecraft 1.19, the first thing we need is actual Minecraft 1.19. So what you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher and over here, select latest release 1.19. Then just click play to make sure Minecraft 1.19 is downloaded and installed to your PC. If you've already played 1.19 before watching this video, then you don't have to do this and you can skip this step. Before I get started, I have to tell you that you should subscribe to this channel if you're into Minecraft videos like this particular one, because most of you guys watching these videos are not subscribed to my channel yet. Here we are in 1.19. Now you can just click quit game. Now it's time to install fabric and sodium. Now fabric is required to be able to load sodium and use it in Minecraft. So to get started, go over to the link down below in the description where you'll find a link to how to install fabric, which will contain most of the useful links that we're going to need for this video. So over here, if you scroll down a little bit, it says fabric mod loader and you open that link that will take you to fabricmc.net and then you click download here. If you're on Windows, click download for Windows. If you're not on Windows, click download universal jar. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click this big blue button. This will download an installer, which you just open. That will open the fabric installer. It will select 1.19 by default. And then as long as it says create profile here too, you're good to go and you can just click install. This will take a few seconds and then you can just click OK. Now you can close the installer and this means we're already halfway there. We already have fabric to be able to use sodium. We are now going to download and install the FPS boosting mod, which is sodium. So a quick Google search for sodium mod will do the trick. Just come over to this Cursed Forge link right here. As you can see, it says game version 1.19. You can either go over to files or scroll down over here to where it says Minecraft 1.19 and click the download button right there. It will take five seconds for the download to automatically start. And there we go. Now, once the file has finished downloading, I'm gonna drag it over to the desktop because we're gonna need it. And this way it is way easier to access because we're gonna have to drag it into another folder right now. So to get to that folder where all your Minecraft files are stored, go into the search bar, type in percent app data percent and hit enter, you'll find a bunch of folders, but you're going to want to click the dot Minecraft one. If you've never installed mods before, you won't have a mods folder in here yet. If you do, then make sure it only contains mods that are actually compatible with fabric 1.19. Other ones will make Minecraft crash. Either way, right click somewhere in here, hover new, click folder and create a new folder called mods all lowercase. Now double click this folder drag in sodium and any other mods that you want and know are compatible with sodium because not all mods will always work together. So we are done here for now. Just close this window, open up the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, it is automatically selected fabric loader 1.19. You can also go over to installations right here and click the three little dots, click edit, and then click more options right here. And as you can see, it says XMX 2G. I'm telling you this because this is a quick tip on how to make Minecraft run even better if you're already going with sodium, which will greatly increase performance for many people. If you have some RAM to spare, say you have eight gigabyte of RAM in your system, you could comfortably crank this up to three or 4G, which will allocate more RAM to Minecraft. If you have even more, then you can set it to six, but don't go beyond that because it will make your system run slow and it won't make Minecraft run fast. So once you're done here, click save, and now you can click play over here or play over here, just like that. And you may get a pop-up where you have to click, I understand the risks to be able to play this because this is a new modded installation, which is not officially supported by Mojang. Here we are, Minecraft 1.19 world, and I'm gonna hit escape options video settings and as you can see these are totally different video settings because well they're not very different video settings at first because these first few tabs are very normal settings but they look very different and there's some other ones under performance and advanced as well that you may want to take a look at if you want to save even more fps and that is how you install sodium for minecraft 1.19 just by having it installed you should experience less lag and your FPS should generally be a bit higher than before. Let me know down below in the comments whether this tutorial actually worked and if you managed to gain some FPS, then let me know how many FPS you had before this video and how many FPS you were able to get after installing Sodium. I have to stress this, but most of you guys are not subscribed to this channel. Please 
consider subscribing to this channel because there's going to be a bunch more tutorials like this particular one. And you can also expect to see other Minecraft content such as survival videos and texture pack compilations, shaders compilations, all that good stuff. I really hope I was able to convince you to subscribe to the channel, but even if I wasn't able to do so, I want to thank you for watching this video. And as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!